Hey everybody, Brian with you from the Game Comment, and we are playing more Civ 6, continuing with our India campaign, and yeah, we're doing continents, except we got a little tiny crappy island continent all to ourselves, um, in the tundra, so sure, except not really to ourselves, because we've also been fighting the barbarians too, but anyways, uh, we probably want to get up to shipbuilding here pretty quick, as well just so we can embark and then maybe even the cartography depending you know what we really need i need a galley that's what i need i don't have cash this is gonna give us 30 gold um okay so he's gonna suicide into me you should not be able to kill me because he only has a six bang strength right now and that's uh better than my five but we're on a hill so it's gonna be uh slightly better and then I'm going to put you here, and you might end up helping kill. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're still super early game. We just had so many barbarians, it's gotten a little slow. Uh, do I want to go to Jerusalem to make a little bit of extra money, or Delhi for extra production? Good question. Where's our next city going to go? We didn't... Um, we didn't queue anything up. I think we talked about going over here. That was kind of our goal. Yeah. I think I'd rather have the roads, the internal trade routes. I think we'll do that. We could have honestly sent it to Delhi and then send it all the way over there and maybe it would have gone through there our towns, but nah, nah, nah. We'll do it this way. You actually attacked across towards that guy, which seems like a really bad idea, but sure, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you won't get XP for this, but that's fine. That's fine. And we're going to bring you over here and we're going to go see what those tiles look like. Then you're going to get promoted. Battle cry, thank you. And yeah, we in a good spot. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we're actually on turn 57, so it is a little bit later. Oh, freaking barbarians, are you kidding? And when that da dum happens, you know that it's, like, in turn, like, we just found, like, uh... Because it's only, right now, all we've revealed is our continent. So we know that they see us. <laughs> Do we get archery? No, we just have it boosted. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I think we put a city right here on the tobacco. It's not going to be fresh water, but that's fine. I don't think we can put one in here on this these rivers. Nope. Nope. And then we'll probably end up going maybe over here or here. Because we got crazy harbor potentials. Uh, then probably down here for the river. And then we'll definitely go in the tundra. Because we're doing holy, so it doesn't really matter. We should have grabbed that tundra one, man. I'm, I'm mad we didn't grab that tundra pantheon. Well, we could have grabbed it, but I'm, I guess I'm mad we didn't put our holy site there. We, did we get fishing boats? Okay, I guess we're not doing a religious play. Well, that sucks. How did we get beat? Dang, dude, that sucks. Well, I guess we weren't planning. I guess we're not doing a religious one then. All right, well then. Ah, dang it, dang it. Who do we want to, what do we want to do then is India? Culture or science? It doesn't really matter. Like you don't have to do, you could do anything with anyone. Like we did a peaceful science with uh, uh, Mongolia. So that that's not really a concern. Food and housing and then faith. I guess we'll just end up having to take uh, the faith where we can buy units. Maybe that's going to be just what we want. That really sucks, though. And we don't have anyone nearby, so we can't use our Varu, either. It's just, man. This turned out to be kind of crappy. Yeah, this turned out to be very crappy for us. All right. Whatever. You just sit here, and let's heal. I mean, we got this nice little wonder here, which is going to give us a decent amount of culture. Culture is probably going to be the second quickest, so I think, yeah. I think, yeah. We'll do culture. All right. Do we want to attack? Sure. Um, I hate that you can't stop producing the holy site, though. That sucks a little bit, but okay. And then you kill him. And you you know what? You can just come back down here, and let's just make sure barbarian encampments don't spawn. Um, we got our second... Uh, how close are we on early empire? Okay. Do we have a governor yet? No. So, we're gonna lose a pop no matter what. That's fine. With bronze working done, give me shipbuilding. Wait, shipbuilding's two galleys. Which, actually, we do want to build two galleys. 
So you know what? Screw go. Let's go this way and this way. We might want to grab drama and poetry then. Right away. So we don't fall too far behind in culture, but it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Okay, let's get these guys spread out a little bit so we don't get these barbarian encampments spawning on us. Yay. Yeah. And we lost our scout, didn't we? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Little unfortunate, but we'll be fine. Okay, you're coming up here. And let's go grab the granary. Or do we want to grab another settler? Problem is we're losing so much population. Oi. Ooh, what about a monument? We need both. We do need both. Are we boosted on settlers? No, we're taking plus one production in all cities. Yeah, we don't even have that boost yet. Okay. So let's hold off then on a fourth city until we can grab our second governor here with state workforce. So we don't lose population anymore. It just, it sucks having to like lose population and regain it. Uh, we can upgrade you. Well, we will be in two turns. Do we want to? Probably not. And why don't we take you over here just to get a little more vision? Uh, no, hold up. Go up here. Because we don't have vision over here. Because we want to maintain vision everywhere. And I really want to get these galleys. Now, the naval production is going to come here. No, is it here? Oh, we actually have the production towards naval. Mm-hmm. But we should wait for early empire to finish. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll go grab that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We'll switch it up then next turn. Do something like that. Give as much territory as possible. Hello, Genghis Khan. He's gonna like me. We'll be friendly. Uh, mostly because we won't have any cav. Friends? Eh, we tried. Where were you at, dude? That was Antioch. Antioch. I uh, didn't show anything. Okay, that's fine. Uh, trade route's going. You're good here. And then next Pantheon, we're going to go here and here. Uh, or next uh, Civics. And then give me the production towards naval units. And... Yes. Keep the one production in all cities. And then we'll pump up the galley so we can get that out a little bit quicker. Then you fortify up and keep going. We should heal this guy, but we'll be fine. I don't think they'll spawn barbarians anytime soon. You're good to actually start moving down here. Just get a little more vision as well. Like maybe we'll put you right here. Something like that. And you can come like over there. And then you just stay right there. Okay. So we need two galleys. We also need to keep popping out settlers, but like I said, we're going to wait for provision. And here goes in our city. There is our wonder and our error score. Being, uh, our error score for being net back next to a natural wonder. And then monument. And we want to go ahead and point Magnus then to our capital. It doesn't really matter at this point. Because we're not going to chop for a while. So that should give us enough vision... We have hills here, so that's probably going to be our best to get um, the most amount of territory. We can see right here, but uh, as the borders grow, we should. And as the trade routes go through, we should. So, I think that'll be fine. Is there hills over here? Tundra, uh, like here. We'll go look there. We'll go hang out there. Yeah, see, there's our vision. What were that? Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed. Two turns. Nice. Nice. Okay, you're staying there. You're going for those hills. You're staying there. We're good. Writing's done. Do we have any other boosts? We could go grab our Varu. I think I'd almost rather do... Prove 2C resources. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep min-maxing these as best as we can. I don't want to super min-max, but we might as well min-max a little bit at least. Uh, still want plus one production in all cities. We do want to go for the settler one, but once again, we're waiting for uh, our next governor title. So five turns, four turns. Yeah, so right about the time the monument will finish. And actually, we'll switch over as soon as the monument is finished. Okay, we're going to catch up here pretty good. There's our first one. Aha! Potential. I, I really would like to settle another continent. Crap. All right, maybe not that one. <laughs> yeah, there's a city right here. Uh, Is that Mongolia? Yeah, actually, I think this is Mongolia. 
So I kind of maybe then want to go this way. Do we want to go take on Antioch and conquer it? Eh. Eh. Maybe. I hate that we lost the religion. You can see the religion's being spread over here. I, I think Arabia must be in the game. We didn't pay enough attention. Like, if we just lost that last one because Arabia was in the game. Like, I should have been paying more attention here. I don't think we could have bought it anyways. That's the problem. Like, we went pretty aggressive early on, and we still didn't get the freaking religion, which is always a potential on deity. There's just certain times on deity where you're just like, well, I guess I'm just going to lose now. Either it's a bad start, or you just don't get the tech. Like, a hundred different things could happen. And in this case, it was the fact that we just didn't get a religion. And it's mostly because everyone that is alive basically prioritized it. We have Poland. That makes sense. I mean, I, I'm imagining we'll probably also see Tamar in this game. We've been playing with Tamar a lot recently, so I would be shocked if she's not in this game. But, you know, all right, so she was one of the ones that got a religion. I bet Mongolia got one of them too, right? Poland and Mongolia. Because Mongolia tends to go for a religion. Which doesn't really make sense, but sure, whatever. You do you. You do you. All right, settler time. And we'll switch this over to production towards settlers. Probably... Uh, instead of one, ah, I do like the builds in every city, but still. A strong economy begins with a strong. Okay, political well, philosophy and then drama poetry. Ah, actually, you don't know do that into political philosophy. Normally, I always go for this, but we're not going to grab oligarchy. Although classical republic is really helpful still. Yeah, now nah, screw it. Let's do it. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. And then we want production towards settlers, please. Thank you. Because we want to fill out our island as quick as possible and maybe potentially see if there's somewhere else we could settle. Meh. Skip. How long do you got? Three turns. We did lose one production in that city, but that's <laughs> fine. I know, you love us. She's going to hate us because we don't have religion. Although our faith per turn's not bad. Tries to build up faith. I mean, we have a holy site. <laughs> So, you know, there is that. <laughs> All right, fine. Hate me. That's fine. We also have Jerusalem, too. God, and we started with freaking Jerusalem on our island. Screw it. We're going to conquer Jerusalem, then. Yeah, I think so. Do we want to go kill it now? It has walls, or they're building walls. You know what? We got to go over there. Let's go for it. We really want an extra archer. 240. I think we could do it. I think it's usually two archers and two warriors is like kind of the ideal to get it. A city state. And so I think we should be good to go. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Because uh, here's the thing. I don't want Jerusalem just sitting here taking up all this territory, especially if we can't use the faith per turn or if the faith per turn doesn't really uh, give us anything. So, yeah, I like this. Go. Let's get super aggressive, man. We're India. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the unfortunate part is we do need 45 gold to upgrade you. Can we trade? Yes. What about open borders? For 30 gold? 45. Yes. Okay, we don't need to um, sell off our amenities. 60. 50. All right, that's fine. Do we want to sell our stuff, though? We can, like, buy a settler or a builder or something like that. I don't think so. We are happy. If we sold off one of them, we'd be content everywhere. I think we wait. I think we wait. The other thing to keep in mind here is we could go and grab ourselves swordsmen here pretty easily as well to take Jerusalem on. Natural history. Uh, hello, Galapagos. Dang it. Yeah, she's over here. So she's not necessarily over here, but it's kind of smack dab between the two. It's unfortunate. Now, I wonder if maybe there's an island in here that's a potential settle. Also, could we hit Jerusalem from the water? No, we cannot. All right, we tried. But we tried, we looked. <laughs> we looked, we saw, we decided we couldn't. This is going to be a hard take, though. Yeah, Jerusalem's pretty well defended. And he is building walls. Maybe we should just wait until we get swordsmen. There's something to be said that it might be too late. 
It might be too late. Because those walls could pop up any second. Yeah, there they go. Okay, well, we can't take it now without Swordsman. We need Swordsman, and we will need um, a Battering Ram. So that's going to be our next goal. Or we could just start popping out some Varu, which would also just absolutely dominate. 40 melee strength, it's better. Yeah, a couple Varu would just be um, better, actually. We still will want a Battering Ram. Dang it. We thought about this too late. We should have just gone for Jerusalem right away. Yeah, I think we will. Uh, so then I need a builder. I need some gold. Because we want to grab this uh, iron. We can also grab the tea. Okay, let's do this. Hi. Are you happy? You might not want to pay me a lot. So like two something. What would you pay me? You don't really like me. You also don't have a lot of money. Can we get open borders with her? I'll take it. We're not making a lot of gold, but that's fine. And then like 250? Look at his freaking cities, dude. God, he took Katusa too. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities right now. Yeesh. We have eight, uh, three. <laughs> uh, deity, man. Okay, so 272 means we can buy a builder. And we're going to need 110 to buy the iron. So it's going to take a few turns, but that's okay. We need a lower unit maintenance is what we need. And we probably want to go oligarchy then, too. Now, if we popped over here, we can get flanking bonus, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think we want to grab oligarchy so we can take Jerusalem. Yo, keep your religion away from mine. So you guys swap, and let's just get you guys, like, in position. Like, somewhere generally near Jerusalem. And we got another city popping out here in just a second. Being able to reduce costs is going to save us, or uh, lowering the maintenance is going to save us four gold per turn, which is going to be nice. You go on auto explore because there's not a whole lot you can do right now. We might be able to get a golden age out of this though. We're close. What was our thing? Boosts. No hour of life is wasted. Plus one error score. In the saddle. So we need plus two every time you convert a city to your founded religion. Well, yeah. So about that. About that. <laughs> Dang it. So can we pop out of Varu? Ten turns. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We need a little more production, but we should be able to get a little more production in two turns. So we're just going to be able to get a Golden Age, I think. Ha! Suck it. And we want Ironworking next. Political Philosophy. Also, too, getting a government's actually going to help as well. Yeah. Yeah, getting a government's going to help, too. All right, you just go on alert. And alert. And alert. Put you up there. So the next city is all desert, right? I think we go here. Because that gives us that and that. Yeah, we need to get the government plaza up too. But we're a ways away from that. Maybe just come around this way. You come like there. Poland declared war on Mongolia. All right, have fun. At least it's not on me. Basically. Sweet. Thank you for uh, entering the sea too. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to find anything. Dude, these guys are a little far away. I don't really understand why they declared war on each other. Like you're not really gonna be able to do much. Are we worried about barbarians spawning between us and them? Mm, slightly not gonna lie yeah a little worried about that but should be fine uh we're four turns away so let's at least get to the next era here pretty quick um i think we should go to agra just so we can get roads to both of these guys yeah yeah what's our culture eight pretty good pretty good considering 
Now, is the golden arrow going to give us anything? Not exactly. 110, you need a couple turns to wait. We do want to go buy the tea, and I could actually just go buy the tea now. And we could go grab the horsies, too, while we're at it. Because we've got a couple turns before we can do um, that anyways. So, uh, And by that, I mean uh, get the iron. Uh, swordsman. Sounds good. Sounds good. Then you're just going to go on auto explore because there's not really much else we can do. This is very disappointing. Yeah, there's no good islands for us to uh, land on. And it seems like they just have so much more territory right now. I feel like we got a really crap start. <laughs> I really think we got a crap start here. Might as well be friends. There's no reason not. So. We'll stay there in this forest. That'll be okay. We could also take you to this forest. Doesn't really matter. It's still two tiles away. And we don't have to worry about our units necessarily. Like, because uh, we want to move our units through here. Like, through here. So, give me uh, Oligarchy. Even though I'd rather have Classical Republic, but Oligarchy is going to be nice. Twilight Valor is also amazing right now. But we don't need it yet. We got our Golden Age. So let's lower so we can make a little bit of extra money. This is going to be two gold, which is fine. Do this. I don't really care. 50% production towards settlers. Yeah. What about, uh, you know, we never ended up grabbing. Cav. Because that would help my Varu pop out a little quicker. And we'll probably end up putting that one down here. So for now, let's just do envoys, and let's just do gold. We don't need this one either, and production in all cities. Sure. I don't think, I don't know when the cheaper upgrades are. I think that's a little bit of ways away. Okay, you grab that, and next turn we got our second city, or our fourth city, <laughs> our second city. The second one in this episode, I think, is where I was going with that. And then you're fortifying, you're fortifying. Swordsmen are 11 turns away. We have enough gold now to buy that. So actually, let's go grab that. We gotta be careful, because we don't want to meet someone and not have gold either to trade them, but whatever. Whatever. You get over there. We got eight turns there. Military tradition finished right away, so give me the production towards uh, cavalry units. Forget the gold. And we'll probably pop out two Varu. Probably. And go back to drama and poetry, because we want to get Behold that going everywhere. How Long Bay. Heaven. Dang. Dang. I would have rather spawn next to How Long Bay, I think. I don't know. I do really like uh, the p whatever this one is. Anything that improves the tiles is nice. Yeah, your delegation's welcome. We're going to have a slight warmongering penalty, but this is fine. We'll be fine. We'll go to Amy. Let's save it, because we can grab two right away here. I would just rather have Jerusalem. Like, I think I would just rather have the territory and an extra city at this point. Mm-hmm. So Mumbai, another nice little city over here. Let's go ahead and do another monument. Let's get the culture rolling. Then you're going to promote and do provision. And then we're going to go back to Settler. Now we're going to do one more Varu and then go into Settlers. Yeah. Yeah. We do need Iron. Uh, we will need Swordsmen and we do want potentially... Uh, well, we need a Battering Ram. So. Oh, I should have waited on that. I should have waited till next era. Yeah, that was a waste. Oh, well. What does this look like? I'm <laughs> pretty dang good, actually. Uh, so, yeah, two Varu might just be enough. Especially if we had a battering ram. We could just probably wreck the walls in one turn. But we can't do the battering ram uh, until after we finish masonry. Maybe we want the battering ram before masonry. I don't know. Maybe we do. You're actually boosted. So you're done next turn. And then what's the boost here? Build a quarry. Mm. We don't have anything to quarry. There's no stone. Right here. 
Dang, that sucks. One, two, three. So if we bought to this tile, then we could boost that. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe we're going to need to make a little more money. What about trading our other resource? Hello, Golden Age. So, actually, Heroic Age. We're in a Dark Age. Nice. Well, so everything but the movement for Missionary Apostles. <laughs> I think so. We can purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and sellers are 30% cheaper. We get extra culture. And we get extra um, golden signs. Sweet. Yeah, that works. So, uh, you know what sucks about that? We just gained a bunch of science out of nowhere. Yeah, so we didn't need to actually do that one turn. Oof, that sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. It'll be fine. Can we get 115 gold from someone? If we make a deal... He has so many amenities, but you know what? She likes us now, and she doesn't have nearly as many, so she should be able to give us. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. 250? What about giving her horses, actually? Because I'm not going to build any horses. And then we can keep our amenities. So, like, 310? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You can take my horse. And so, we need to buy this tile. So we can get the boost for the quarry. And then, we want to grab the battering ram. Probably buy it with the rest of our money. The other thing is, we also want to then spend all the money upgrading these swordsmen. Oh, we don't have the iron mine yet. There you go. We didn't have the tech yet either. I was like, wait, where's my upgrade? Dang it. We don't have enough gold. Ugh. We might need to send her amenity, too. We might. So, quarry. There you go. That almost finished off masonry. So, that's going to keep us nice and uh, teched uh, close. We need sea resources, don't we? Yeah. So, two. That's going to be our first one. We need one more build charge. So, you're going to go here, grab the crabs. You're going to grab go the fish. Grab go get the... <laughs> grab go with the fish. My brain... My mouth. It's Each been a long day. A stone, you can see it's like 6 o'clock. Normally we're recording this at like 10 in the morning. Part of the reason is just because um, uh, we live streamed today. So, with that one done, I guess let's just knock out wheels because they're ready uh, and cheap. And then the battering ram is 260 for five turns. Sure. Sure, so Jerusalem's gonna fall. Hey, Mo and Jaro. Hi, we actually want to be your friend. And no one knows you. Or at least no one's putting anything towards you. So, in one turn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this one to that one, and then we should be able to get two right away with Mo and Jaro. Uh, you're gonna go grab the granary, just to keep growing. You are doing the fishing boats. What did, what, what did we grab then? Harvesting gives you faith. Oh, yeah, that one's absolutely terrible for us now. Why didn't I grab fishing boats? The one freaking time I could have grabbed freaking fishing boats. The one time I should have grabbed fishing boats. <laughs> or the one time I grabbed the faith one is the one freaking time I don't need the faith one. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I don't think I need to upgrade you. I really don't. I should have sent a trader out over here. Yeah, I should have. So our, our troops could get here a little quicker. Dang it. God, that makes me mad we missed it. Ugh, it's frustrating. So, give me the plus two. Or, the one counts as two. We don't need the double production anymore. No. So, instead, what we're going to grab... We're no longer in a dark age, so I can't grab freaking uh, Twilight Valor. Ah, that sucks. That's fine. It's okay. We're just missing everything, aren't we, dude? Uh, give me the production towards settlers. Because that's our goal here. In four turns. Man, we are just missing everything. Okay, here we got drama and poetry. We do games and rec, that's fine. We will want to start building theater squares everywhere. Do you think I'm going to take you over here? Yeah, that's fine. 
I'm a little worried about like these warriors killing my archers. I also don't really like the fact that he has swordsmen. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. Yeah, these swordsmen are really terrible. But it is what it is. I think he sees us spamming and putting all these units on his territory, on his border, and that's what's making him a little wary. Mm-hmm. Might as well bring you out then, since we have the 80 gold. Okay, let's go. Uh, Celestial navigation, we got our sea resources, so let's go grab the harbors. You're just gonna fortify up. Gitaja. Yeah, she always goes to religion too. Man, we rolled really badly. <laughs> we got like all of the worst civs right now, or all the ones that absolutely hate us, or all the ones that want a religion. You know, I actually don't need the iron anymore. Throwing that out there, you have iron too. I don't need this iron right now. Do we, like, we're not gonna upgrade any swordsmen. I don't need it for the Varu. Yeah, so let's just give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And then that's gonna make her like us, and here's our delegation. So she's even more friendly. So she's the other one that has the religion. Which shouldn't she do? She actually didn't get a religion. Oh, wow. Okay. Because Gitarja almost always goes for a religion as well. So why are there freaking caravels, man? <sighs> I hate that. <laughs> Barbarian caravels spawn too early. I complain. I've been complaining about this a lot recently, but it is so true. They spawn way too freaking early. Like, it's not even freaking... Uh, it's turn 100 and there's Barbarian caravels. It's just stupid. Part of it's because they're spawning because, you know, AI is around us to have caravels. They just get it too early on Deity. So, we're just getting crapped on because of that. Okay, so next episode, we will be going and killing off uh, Jerusalem. Um, not planning on warring anyone. Yeah, just go see what's... Uh, go look at these territories here. Do we have any better vision? Not really. You spawn down there, which... Uh, oh, we totally forgot to talk to you. Hi. So now that counts as two. Cool. A little extra culture. We would like to kill you. We might end up having to run away. Piss off. Piss off. She likes city-states. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this poor archer, man. He's in a bit of a bad spot. Luckily, we're not going to war anytime soon. I actually want to swap these two. Just because we want the elephants negative five. Okay, let's do one more turn and then we're going to call it. This game, man. One more turn. One more turn. One more turn. One more turn. I'm just going to run away. I don't have any desire to fight you. Let's bring you around over here. And, of course, they're pillaging my crap. Because why wouldn't they? Uh, hey, at least they're not spawning out caravels, which are impossible to fight at this point in the game. Like, that's the other thing. Like, we literally cannot fight caravels. It's impossible. Like, if you beeline, just go straight for cartography. Maybe you could have it out at the same time. But it's just stupid that the barbarians are stronger than any human player. But whatever, whatever, whatever. We're going to stop complaining. For now, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, come in, show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everyone.